lot. This video is going to focus on the mindset needed for competitive video gaming, specifically competitive Smash Bros. The mindset needed is actually breaks down to three basic parts. Your pre-game mindset, your in-game mindset, and your post-game mindset. Your pre-game mindset is something that there's a lot that goes into that. I'm going to need to talk about that in a later video. In this video, I'm going to cover the in-game mindset and the post-game mindset. Post-game is pretty much a reflection of what happens in-game. So the two really do go together really, really well. Uh, and I, you can't really separate. I'm going to put the full run through at the end of this video without any freeze frames for those of you who just want to watch the fight and see what they see. I would recommend, I'll put a timestamp below, I would recommend watching that first, but I know most people aren't going to want to do that, so I put it at the end. This replay is one where in the beginning of the match I was winning, and at the end of the match I actually ended up losing. I wanted you to be able to see the thought process that goes behind a winning match and the thought process behind a losing match. You'll be able to tell the difference. Towards the end, I started to lose control, and a lot of my actions were based off of auto autopilot, or it was a lot of habit. Right? Not necessarily auto autopilot, but habit. If I ha habit to DI in, to roll in, to hold the control stick in, to avoid going off stage, that habit got punished really badly in this match. And you want to look out for that. And also, this shows a couple of cool strategies that um, aren't really sh are talked about, but aren't really shown in other videos, like bait and punish. Um, show how, how I made certain reads or where I made certain reads and sometimes you don't always want to choose the most optimal option i think it's a good model for to help reshape how you think and then after the fight is over i want to go over a post game reflection and i'll just wrap up the video lucas knows the matchup but got baited into dropping magnet and punished lucas chose a defensive option and is one quarter of the way to kill percent He uses dare to defend against juggling. He prefers high commitment smash attacks over tilts. You can't kill here. Don't go off stage. Try to discourage PK fire by showing shine. That is the second neutral getup in a row with the shield follow up. This can be bait and punished with a dash grab. Forward smash can kill here. Expect a neutral getup, throw out a hitbox before shield. Try to either shield or duck. Avoid out of shield nair and fair. Got crossed up, go for bear. Keep up the pressure, stay close. Use bear to cover the ledge, it will kill here. Crap, it didn't kill. He knows how to DI, keep pressure on the ledge. Punish the land and go. Too slow, they might try to roll past my dash attack. Punish with down smash. If they dash in, roll behind for a grab. That was bad spacing, jump away. He's above me, try to bait a dare with an empty short hop. Whoops, that's a full hop. Fast fall to punish the landing. Respawn invincibility. Keep your distance. I need to solidify this lead. Low risk options only. That's an air dodge in to prevent going off stage. I'm letting them get too comfortable with PK fire. I need to bait it and shine to discourage it. I can't find an opening. I'm gonna bait an approach with forward smash, which has very little end lag. He's charging forward smash. Go for the opening at the head with fair. They might hold the control stick in to avoid going off stage. Punish with up smash. Let's take the stock with up special. I forgot about Dare. This was dumb. I'm losing control of the match. I need to reset neutral. They use their double jump. Go off stage for the kill. 
I need to get back up first and punish the neutral get up. Crap, let's reset neutral. That's gonna have some ed lag, punish quick. Forgot to turn around before down smash. Cover ed lag with F tilt. He likes to bear out of shield behind him. Let's avoid a landing punish by recovering low to the ledge. I want to start this stock with a good grab combo. Bear could kill here, but I don't want to be predictable, so let's lead with fair. Follow that kid and keep up the pressure. They were smart and saved their double jump. Don't go off stage, there's too much risk. Keep them cornered instead. This fair is gonna land. Try to follow up with up air. They won't neutral get up again. Punish the jump. That's a neutral get up with a high commitment follow up. Punish it. Got the lead. Don't die until they're close to kill percent. I got launched up. This might be a good time for a mix up. That was a bad idea. Too high risk and it wouldn't even have killed. Get backstage control and reset neutral. That's gonna miss. Throw out your fastest hitbox. It tripped. Throw an F smash out quick. They won't neutral get up again. Punish a roll. Jump was the worst option to avoid this. They read the roll in. Don't do it again. That's PK freeze again. Recover lower than last time. They chased me down. Recover high next time. They won't be expecting a second laser. If they drop magnet and I hit him with a third laser, I might throw them off their game. They're gonna neutral get up. I need to punish this. That sucked. Reset neutral. I can get another headshot with fair. Do not go off stage. DI in. They read my roll. Do not go off stage. DI in. Mash out, mash out. There goes my double jump. I should have spun the control stick instead. Ouch, 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 ouch. Game wins. So for the post game reflection, there's really only one question you need to ask yourself. What can I learn from this fight? Is that every time I missed the tech, I rolled in. I got punished for it really hard, and on top of that, not only did I roll in, but I held the control stick in, which is probably why I keep rolling in, because I, I always hold the control stick in, and I need to start learning to DI out. DI out is a good tool for getting out of combos, and you want to learn how to tech to get out of those situations. My offstage recovery was very predictable. I need to start, what I should start doing is recovery high, especially if there's a little platform for me to land on top of, that way they don't always think I recovered low. I should also I also need to stop using back air. You could tell at the very beginning of the match my back air should have killed had I used had I used it less and not, the move wasn't staled. I need to practice the timing on my late fair against small characters. I saw that there's a lot of times where I whiffed my fair only by a little bit, and it's because the character was smaller than I was used to, and I haven't practiced against smaller characters. One big embarrassing thing that was very cringy and is really hard for me to even tell you the thought process of is never ever 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 reset neutral if you're in an advantage state at the end of the match i had the advantage even though i i predicted the wrong getup option um actually i predicted the right getup option as a neutral getup and then they shield rolled after it um but that threw me off and i reset neutral never ever ever do that if you're in the advantage state I also, I had the neutral getup read the majority of the time because my opponent neutral getup the majority of the time. 
I think every new, every getup was a neutral getup, and I not once did I dash grab, especially in the beginning. I actually thought about the fact that I should dash grab to punish it, but I never actually did that. Neutral getup is very vulnerable to dash grab. 